rest of the week, of course, and we're almost in the middle of July. I know, it's just flying by, the, the best time of year. I feel so beautiful to enjoy this amazing New England, of course. There's so many amazing hikes. Oh, I love the beach, and there's so many great uh, places to walk, Mr. Denver. So, I wanted to pop in here and kind of just discuss a little bit more what Eric and I have been talking about. Getting support from your partner or not getting support from your partner. As someone who went through a really traumatic experience um, going through a divorce and I was married for about seven years and Eric was married for a few years himself, um, it's something that I like to speak quite often about, you know, obviously since we do, uh, and we like to support our members as well, obviously. Divorce is something that people don't like to talk about, you know, it's, uh, I know in my household when I was growing up, you'd stay together forever, of course, um, and it's not always the case, especially if it's mentally abusive or physically abusive or just not a great situation, and uh, many times people do grow apart, and it's something that we, uh, you know, as people need to understand, you know what, it's okay, um, it's okay to make a change for the better if you're inside and out. It's not healthy for you to stay in a situation that it's going to make everything worse, right? You know, and I know for me, um, leaving my husband at the time, you know, I felt like I had everything. You know, I, I had horses, I had a horse farm, you know, I had this amazing corporate job. I was also a personal trainer in the morning and the afternoons. Um, we were we were living the, the amazing little dream, but at the, the end of the day, I, I was not being treated. Well, um, I was not happy with our, our situation, and uh, I stepped away, and I and I felt empowered by the whole thing. Um, and I advocate if you are not happy in a situation, regardless of what it is, whether it's a crappy relationship, a crappy job, or you just don't like where you are in your life, definitely reaching out, finding the tools. Like for me, going through that whole situation, I reached out to a therapist. Um, I, I often talk to my clients about him. He's the man I call his Dan from Mystic Therapy. So he helps me quite often, and he still does, because um, I really feel that a clear mind is very important for a lot of different things, and as well as fitness. That is something, no matter what happened, no matter how crazy of a day or in court when I was going through my divorce or whatever situation that my ex was throwing at me or what crap he wanted from me. I knew I was gonna be lifting some weight and talking to Dan about my situation and it was all gonna go away. So, like I said, take a moment. If you are not in a situation you do not wanna be in, you don't have to be in it forever. Take the necessary steps to get where somewhere you will feel supported, loved, even if it's by yourself. Because at one point, I personally was okay being by myself forever with Denver. I, I, I even, I, I talk about this with Eric all the time, how like, you know, I was perfectly okay being my little cute apartment with my horse and my dog, and I would have been fine with that. Uh, but just finding that space where you are 100% comfortable um, really was really liberating for me overall. So that said, if you need help with any of your fitness goals, your wellness goals, or just want to kick some butt and have a really sexy body while you're doing it. Have fun with a bunch of gals. Feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you about your experience, what you're going through, and see what we can do for you. So.